Good morning and welcome to a vlog. I just realised I just said that very loud and there are probably people still sleeping. It is Saturday and what's the time? It's quarter past eight and I've had breakfast. I've got up and put a little bit of laundry on. Um, and yeah, so I just thought I'd bring you around for the day. So here's, here's another uh, snuggly Saturday vlog. It is freezing because it is November and I woke up and it's just cold and it's really annoying so scarf was straight on and the headband as well keeping my ears warm it's now 9 36 and i've popped a candle on i have what else have i done oh i emptied all my college stuff and have put that in the washing I need to take some laundry down and i think i'm gonna have some lunch i also updated my headshots on spotlight because i just got my third year headshots back those of you who commented and said all lots of lovely things on instagram thank you so much that's so like it's just really lovely to have everyone like comment and be like oh i really like these so thank you so much for just being really lovely and it makes me want to hug you all and squish your faces. I'm now transferring some footage from rehearsals to my director so that we can sort of send them out for promotional kind of stuff. Candles making my room smell nice and making it nice and warm. I'm going to have some lunch now. I know it's only half nine but I'm hungry so I'm gonna have some avocado on rye bread and an apple I think and put a bit of some laundry on a bit of some laundry put my light wash on which is never as much as my darks i tend to wear a lot of black oh this is really hurting my arm again you know it's going to be a good day when your avocado is perfectly ripe it was just so soft and so good but look how green it is oh, such a good avocado ah <laughs> Washing up is done. Tidying my room is mostly done. Um, I now have to put away laundry, like clean laundry. That's probably one of my least favorite things to do. If I could employ someone to do any of my chores, it would probably be that. I'm having to do a weird crouch, but stupidly, last weekend I put my ballet tights in with a mustard dress, and this is the color that they now are. I mean, it might not look that bad on camera. This pair aren't too bad. They're just a bit more, um, I mean, that's not ballet pink. That's probably like a really bad peachy tan. But this, what? Oh. So this is what they should look like. And this is what I did to them. Lesson learned. Don't put your ballet tights in with a mustard dress. This will happen. I don't know why I did it. I think I just thought, oh, it's a light colour, it'll be fine. No, was not fine. I have two odd socks. I, how does this happen? Where, does, where do they go? Where do they go? Where do socks go? Where do hair grips go? This is the dressing question. This is the one that I put in with my ballet tights. All laundry is done and put away and my room is tidy and... It's amazing how getting your chores and stuff done makes you feel. Now I haven't actually cleaned the bathroom yet so I'm just gonna have like five minutes to just sit and then I'm gonna do that and then I'm gonna go to the bank and then return some parcels and then go to the gym. This shot is like an advert for pastel, like pastel, pastel, pastel. <laughs> now on my way to the bank to pick up a new card. Um, I wouldn't normally walk but it's freezing outside so I really don't want to. I had a nap and normally naps are fine um, and I normally wake up feeling really refreshed and really just ready to go but I had um, like a 15 minute nap and set my alarm for 15 minutes. Woke up after those 15 minutes and was still really tired so I was like I'll just have another 10 minutes and I did that for an hour um, and I still now feel really tired. Uh, so I'm just gonna try and get on with the day, go to the gym, hopefully that'll wake me up a little bit. I'm back from the gym and I really wanted to do like a lot of cooking and meal prep today um, and I probably will later but I'm just so exhausted, like I feel like I'm hungover and I'm not, I just feel so tired. Yeah I'm making some lunch now, I say I had lunch earlier, lunch, probably more like brunch um, and I'm having like a veggie burger which is like 
already a veggie burger from Tesco. They're not the healthiest thing. They are processed, but they're equally, you know, not the worst thing. The macros in it are quite good for what it is. So I'm just going to have that and a whole load of greens. I'm going to have broccoli and um, green beans. I didn't do too much at the gym today because, like I said, I just feel so exhausted. Um, I had, like, a nice stretch out and I did some squats, some hip raises, some turned out squats with a kettlebell. I did some, like, isolation leg work, like, um, when you lie on the floor and um, lift your leg and a few things like that. I did a little bit of abs, not a huge amount at all. And then had a quick stretch out and came home. But I just felt very sort of tired and <laughs> slow. So I was just sort of dragging myself like, come on. I do really, really love the gym, genuinely love the gym. Um, and some days I go and I feel so strong and I like rack the weights up and feel really great. But today I was just like, whoa, what am I doing? I don't know, I just feel very spaced out and tired. I think I'm just hungry. That's probably all it is. Yeah, I'm hungry, so I'm gonna have some lunch. Yeah, this is a really lazy meal for me, but I just sort of, when I'm feeling really tired, just chuck that in. I keep those in the freezer because I know what I'm like if I don't have something like that in the freezer. And eventually I want to start making them myself. Um, that's just something I haven't got around to because on a, on a weekend I normally make a big batch of soup and a big batch of um, veg um, in a like, tomato sauce. I keep saying um, it's really annoying me, sorry. I definitely feel better after eating. I think I was just really hungry and after going to the gym that definitely sort of kicked me over into really, really <laughs> fatigued and tired and just had no energy at all. Um, so I had some food which I showed you and now I feel better. I'm just wriggling this around because I'm cold. This is a hot water bottle. This is the thing that helps me sleep at night because one thing about living in student living, it's pretty bloody cold. The fairy lights are on. The hot water bottle is here. I'm getting nice and toasty and I'm going to do some Black Friday shopping to try and get some extra bits for panel days. I'm kind of happy with what I've got and I feel like I kind of know the kind of idea I'm going with um, but I want to find something that fits a little bit better because most of my dresses most of my clothes are a bit big on me which is weird because I don't I don't feel like I've lost a load of weight I don't feel like I look that different but my clothes just aren't fitting me at all like they're just hanging off me and I don't understand but yeah it's just a bit annoying when you put stuff on like even my workout leggings my my Nike ones which are old and I've had have had them a couple of years probably more than that actually they probably are well past their sell by date if leggings had a sell by date um but they just are baggy like even my lululemons which are really expensive the high-waisted ones I have two pairs they're both high-waisted one of oh no I have three now oh my gosh that's a lot and one of the pairs I've I now have to buy fours in lululemon and I think I have either a six or an eight in a pair and the top of them is like baggy and they weren't like that when I first got them I think I even featured them in a video I'll put that in a card if you want to watch it here here who knows um but I'll put that on the screen if you want to go and watch that video but you can see in the video that they're not hanging off me but now they really do I don't know does anyone else get this is it just that clothes are not as well made as they used to be or has my body just changed shape and I need to buy smaller sizes also I feel like the whole clothing industry has just made the sizes bigger like they've ju they're just putting smaller numbers on bigger items which is it's called vanity sizing and it's to make us feel better about ourselves but the fact is I'm I consider myself to be quite average sized at my biggest I was pushing a size 12 so I've only ever really been a size 10 to 12 and now I would say I'm definitely an 8 um, but because I've got like wide hips and a big bum um, and a small waist I tend to have to buy like size 12 bottoms because my, my butt cheeks are just you know they take up a lot of space um, <laughs> so but on top I normally buy an 8 but I'm buying smalls and I'm buying 8s and they're not fitting me 
and I don't understand that but they're fitting most of the time the seams are fitting along the shoulders so it's kind of like the right width but around my rib cage and around my actual body they're just hanging like gaping I don't understand it's really it's really annoying me I feel like I've bought so many clothes recently and just had to send so much of them back probably like 98% of the things I've bought I've had to send back because they just don't fit end of rant seven minutes I'm learning through vlogging that seven minutes is the kind of standard time that it takes me to ramble and get my point across about a topic and then that usually cuts down to about two or three or I just cut it out entirely let me know if you enjoy these rambly thoughts and I'll um, leave them in more often it is now quarter past one in the morning and I look a bit worse for wear I pretty much just sat in my bed most of the rest of the day because it was just so freezing um, I did stuff on my laptop so it's not like I've just been sat doing absolutely nothing and I bought a couple of things on Black Friday sales um, a lot of which I'll probably send back because that's just the nature of online shopping I got some not very exciting things like new foot thongs because the ones I have at the moment are disgusting uh, some tights I got some skirts and some tops and a new dressing gown and a new scarf because I have decided that I'd like to keep my scarves on a rotation because I wear them everywhere quite literally everywhere and I put them on about five times a day so I just wear it all the time so I think it's nice to have two sets so that at least one set is one set one scarf is clean is this interesting I don't know it's probably better things to be doing at quarter past one I haven't put my laundry away yet so I might go and do that put a hot water bottle on don't know whether I want to have a shower probably will jump in the shower quickly to warm myself up and then I'll be going to bed so thank you very much for watching this video I hope you enjoyed it and let me know in the comments below if you'd like to see more of something I might vlog tomorrow as well um, I might vlog sort of my meal prep if you're interested in seeing that. Thank you very much for watching. I shall see you all very soon. If you're not subscribed, make sure to hit that little subscribe button and the bell icon down below. I'm sure you know all about YouTube, so I'll just let you do your things. Um, that's it. Leave me a comment below if you fancy it. I love chatting with you guys. And um, yeah, that's it. Thank you very much for watching. I shall see you all soon. Goodbye.